sorry everybody, okay. Um, hey guys, Joel fans, fans here, family, Robby fans here, and Lucas is here, fans here, welcome to another video. So today guys, um, I have to say something before they get started for this one, so, uh, I need to, uh, um, do that just for that. Well, it being long time ago, do you remember about Fan Fiction series? It would be long time ago in this, since January, oh my god. So I'm really sorry. I totally forgot to do to do this because I have so many in my brain and that yeah because that the 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 play because that they do this something for God. Well, I just want to see. I want to do this. I have nothing to do on this day right now because I'm only one work for making all Lucas see moments from Minecraft Storm of Season Two, Episode Two, from Gacha Club so I may make them. And for tomorrow, I will be make um the episode five, but episode two for Gacha Club version. So that's why I'm really gonna do. So I have nothing to do. So this one, and I have nothing to do about it. I'm bored right now. A little bit actually, a little bit because um I'm just watching the, the, the my own videos and stuff like that might be. And also, I hope. Uh, and also, um. I was gonna do instead of reading a fan fiction story, so I'm not gonna board again. So, so yeah, we're gonna make another before to get started. And hope you have to join us via like it and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. I try my videos and stuff like that. Also, I'd meet to the baseball fan me to Instagram. What but TikTok and anyone else? So anyway, before to get started, my boy. <laughs> My boyfriend Jay actually showed me about the face switch about that uh, his Minecraft will last because the uh, he doesn't want to play Minecraft anymore. But also, uh, but I do play Minecraft before my using like hardcore adventure maps likely and also the, like that, like that. Also, you can play the maybe in other friends wants you to, to play with the some sometimes for me soon in the future. That's what allows us in the future to play. So in the future, how should I do? If I want someone to play like role playing, so like if I have a computer to play the Minecraft, yeah, I will go real home in Beacon Town for Minecraft Storm. That's my real home. That's what that was to talk about it. So anyway, before we get started, I'm gonna do it today is like and subscribe to my channel, click the bell button, blah blah blah, like that. And also, I'm really sorry. Uh, I took so long. For two months ago, I did I do have a frantic friction series, but I'm gonna do it right away because it's so so. The February I didn't do it for the frantic friction series, and now I'm gonna go to the, the this thing with the body. Um. Oh no, my mom is. Um. What time is it right now? Oh no, we have to be hurrying right now because I need to go to sleep. My mom actually chat to me. I need to be hurry. I need you know what? I need to be hurry because I need to show you about the face with my boyfriend Jay because the, I'm gonna go with the the family future and we can become hurry right now. So I need to like it this video actually. So um so yeah so I need to hurry because it's only five minutes left. I need to turn off the messenger because my mom if my mom knows and I was gonna she she gonna be so mad. Oh my god. Um, I gotta get the picture. I, if I get the, the my family mental troubles again, what the heck? Oh my gosh! Anyway, let me show you about the Jay show me about it about face, face build up face or something switching like mixing something because she, she said like she doesn't want to play. She he was playing um Mobile Legends, but I don't want Mobile Legends anymore because it makes me distracted. If my eyes are I'm gonna die. If I'm the longest, 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 I'm gonna do distracted like the play video games. So I don't like it. I hate it because uh, I guess that uh, I hate it. I want to do is my favorite. It's my favorite carrier. Like gacha club version, gacha community, some chat that's helping people. I want to do that. Not the man, and I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me distracted. That it's not distracted the game. I hate it so much, V. 
Anyway, hurry up because it's two minutes to go because I did, my mom actually knows about me about the recording about the events. Let's just be hurry and then I'm gonna do the fan fiction to the about me, uh, Jesse and Lucas about fan fiction series. Anyway, let's show you about the little page of the fan fiction. Yeah, the fan fiction. Uh, the kid that you cannot, but I'm gonna post it. That I can't post it. Also, next week. Oh, okay. So, anyway, let's go show you. The Jay is gonna show you about that. So, let's do it. Hi, Gun Angel. And in this video, I want to show you to post this in my video. This is my look like a face. This is my music box right there. I don't want to uh, make any more new ones video. because this is going to be mine. You, now. you need to press a tree and to place three one. Buttons. This is going to be so loud. Guy, na, not uh, this is going to be That's squares. Nice. Press like and it. click number two. And this is going to be. Uh, wait, what? Um, <laughs> that's so this. really weird. Click number three. You, want, you cannot change to back. Easy peasy. Okay, mm. one easy to peasy with right this. I'm gonna show you to this video only one the video in this Minecraft. I'm gonna give up all this. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna miss give all the music for box that. I make. But technically happen, but you need to find super cool ever. It's very fun. You know that actually kinda cool the music box ever, but this is gonna be kinda sad, yo. Right, this is gonna be finished, ready. Bye, Queen Angel. I'm gonna see this make a video. This is gonna be easy on the piston redstone. Bye. Okay, um. And I was like, that's nice, but okay. But then recently, okay. So I'm gonna say, I like it though, but I like it, but, I, but you know what? It's time for that, I need to turn off. The 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 the, uh, the status and then I'm gonna go to the turn off because my mom's knows turn off the Facebook Instagram only so we hold on I need to check the Instagram first on it hold on later but I check all right so um. So what I'm gonna do is that after that I'm gonna finish the Jay's show you about the face. So I'm gonna do a fan fiction series now, because it took so long and I'm gonna miss the 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 miss the to do this series. All right, here we go. All right, someone actually made this um the the the, the fan fiction only the developed art and what but to uh, the make that story about the fan fiction. Some imagine uh, imagine like oh it's ten o'clock now. So I'm gonna turn off the messenger Facebook now because if he doesn't know I'm not gonna sleep to sleep anymore. Wait, hold on, I need to there we go. Alright, so um let's just read it the fan of if 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 a time runs up, so I'm gonna stop the, the recording, so Okay, so anyway, so let me just read the story. The from my Sonic fan sixteen from is this love? So just here, look this potential. Okay, so do you remember the story, the Minecraft story you play? I know I get to remember that. So, uh, oh no, oh no, my camera. All right, all right. So, all right. So Lucas said to POB, she said like, I don't know what this feeling is inside. Whenever I think of Jesse. We've been through a lot of in our journey to defeat of the Wither Storm, and we see just so much in uh, in our world. As we continue through our quest to find a way to defeat the Wither Storm and save it, save the world, I felt this feeling inside of me grow the more time I spent with Jesse. That is so sweet. And Jesse isn't it loser like Aiden, Maya, and Gil think she is in fact she's a hero she survived the nether and the end stood up against the large group of anger enderman grabbed the ball i remember the michael storm mode about episode one two three four five six seven eight eight like like that like the end season one not this is season two i guess 
um, the secrets and more. On top, because I top all is all, she always look out for her friends, and she even look out for me. I can't forget all the kind things she done for me. Since the day our journey begin, began, it seems like a normal building conversation with Aiden. It's searching her and her friends, and me trying to keep my groups as good sport to just build our creation. And have a good time at the building conversation. Then we all went to Endercon. Jesse was a good sport and accompanied me to my team build even the I was gonna judge it on all the the, the fan, uh, fanfics uh, in Devon art. I'm gonna read it by the way. But the, her team won. When she showed her good sportsman, I, you're gonna read it about that. You can see the screen. How okay. it. When she showed her good sportsmanship, I knew that Petra was right about Jesse's standout in a good way. I knew that Jesse was kind-hearted compared with what Aiden claimed she was. But as our journey continued, I realized that she not just a kind-hearted, she also brave, smart, and caring. Um, I- oh, wait, hold on a sec, hold on. Alright. Um, Oh no, alright. Oh, my camera is so annoying. Alright. It was like, I began to notice this when we chased after Ivor for scamming Patria. Ivor's island. I. Iron? Iron Golem attack us. And I ended up stuck in the basement at Endicon. I thought that Patria, Olivia. I. I. I Patria, Olivia? That said Olivia and even Jesse would come back for me. But I was wrong. Jesse come back with, for me. We heard quick thinking. She distracted the iron golem and stopped him from attacking. Attacking me. I was touched how by how she came back from me. And she said, no man left behind. That's my motto. And she said after I thank for her. Now I remember the first episode. I remember that. That's when I began to see how selfless she was. She cared more about her friends than herself, and I admire that about her. And as the journey continues, she showed about I was part of her team too, even if I was part of the Ocelots. After we, we escaped from the nether and set up the shelter, Jesse gave me a cookie that Axel offered her. Because he is the one to show you and he didn't give me one, Axel and Anna got into the argument. By Jesse stop our fight and even convinced me not to leave the group and wander off on my own. If she had stopped me, I would prove that I got attacked by the Witherstone and stuck inside it. That is right. And also, luckily, Jesse stopped them to fight. Luckily. Uh, again, once again, uh, as our journey continued once there, Jesse continued to intrigue me with her actions. Why we we're steer we we're steer against Ivor? She brought him despite how he's used potion to his advantage to help Gabriel. Why is he was a growing weak from the wig winter sickness? And when what what and when we ended up in the monster grinder, Jesse told me to go after the uh, am amulet. She after she dropped it because she refused to act and Ruben got eating the zombies. I went after the amu amu amulet, but I I also the measure that nah, I can't read it. I'm out of my breath right now. <laughs> I have nothing to do. I'm just reading right now. Mesmer mer rice. Oh my god. <laughs> By how she fought the zombies to protect her friends. And during our search for Soren in the end, I got a little stressed out and hopeless. And but uh, hopeless. But Jesse helped me live my hope and spirit. Oh I see from episode three. Oh I get it, I get it, I get it. That's why she was upset. I get it, I get it. Um and even when I snap at the other she talked to me to help me calm down. I knew that some something was wrong with Gabriel. 
but when Jesse told me that he has a winter sickness and was trying to keep her promise with him to keep it secret. I understood it was to not worry me, Olivia, Axel, or Ruben. I couldn't stay cross with them because I was I knew that it was because they were worried about us. And that's not in that in and all. After we escaped the winter storm, uh, when our attempt with the former from the bomb failed, Petra told me that she saw my friends decide her amnesia decided to go and look at my friends. Jessie, uh, Jessie started to convince me to stay, but she so she told me I know the episode four. I know it. I I remember that. But she told me to go ahead and look up for my friends. I was glad to she stood. Uh, she understood why I wanted to go after my friends and search for them. Uh, af but after I began my search for my friends, I began to feel that I regretted le letting Jessie go. I wish I that I stayed with her and others, but it was too late to get to, to turn back and give up. I continued to search for my friends, and after I found them, I convinced to help out Jessie. I couldn't leave her or the others hanging up by the thread. In the end, we were able to defeat the Wither Storm. Luke has so many seeds. Like, tell us the story. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, in the end, we were able to defeat the Wither Storm. And ever since since then, and Jesse and Petra, Axel, uh, Axel, Alibe, and even I become the part of the new Order of the Stone. And even this feeling grows stronger inside of me. And I think, I think I'm in love with Jesse. That's so sweet. I think you feel it. Oh my gosh. But this is love. I know we've been taught a lot together as a team. But, but are we more than friends? I know that the other ocelots were hate, would hate me for loving Jesse and Axel. Still are sour. <laughs> oh my god. Sour with me. Here and then, and all at the top of all, what if Jesse doesn't love me back? Is it love when you love someone who doesn't love you back? Of course it's a love you want. Like, like me and my my ex lover just went when we separate each other. I love him back. Of course that I loved him so much. Just like I never had that before. Okay, so okay, let's talk a little about the talk to each other right now. And she said. Lucas, is something bothering you? I heard someone to ask me. I've been sitting on my desk looking uh, over some blueprints I made for that new structure. I am sure when I ended up thinking about Jesse, I turned to my right and saw Petra staring at me. Uh, just thinking, I said calmly. And just see what are you thinking about? She asked me with a suspicious look. I can't bring myself to life to Petra. She liked the sister to me. And I just can't bring myself to lie to her. I couldn't lie to the truth of her. I let out the sign. Ah, oh, it's a Petra. Okay. A Petra to talk to Lucas. I thought it was a Jesse. Okay. I let out the sign. I think and said, I think I'm in love with Jesse. And to my surprise, she, she smiled at me and said, About time you told me so. You thought I like her? I asked Petra. You don't think you like Jesse? I know you like Jesse, as said Petra. That's what I was gonna say. Axel told me how you two got it alone during your journey, and you you uh, wait, what? And what you done for? Um. Whew, oh my gosh, what you done for her in return to what she done for you? Just go tell her how you feel. But Petra, I'm confused. I don't know how she feels about me in return. Is she this what I feel for Jesse? I ask. Maybe you won't know until you talk to her. And now, just like it reminds me, Karina first did love story about I don't know what happened. Chat. I remember the stories. Pretending Jesse Lucas with Karina first. Yeah. Um. Uh, Maybe you're talking to her. She needs comfort because she's busy you're visiting Ruben's memorial right now, she pa said Petra. I felt sad and scary inside of me. Re Ruben went with Jesse into the winter store to finally defeat it with her. 
and poor Ruben ended up falling in his death. He died a hero. But even though it's a weekend, I'm so sad right now. I'm gonna cry for that Ruben's dying <laughs> since then. Um, even though it's been weeks, Jersey's two months for him. He wasn't just her pet pig, he was her best friend and family to her as well. Okay, I go to see how Jesse doing, I said to Petra. I made my way to the memorial that we made with Ruben. I saw Jesse st standing by herself, she staring at the banner that had Ruben's face, the name of it. Her eyes were red, which meant she had been crying. And then she said, Hey Jesse, I told her calmly. She turned to me, I couldn't tell that she'd been crying. Because her cheeks had dry tears and rolled up down her face. Hey Lucas, she said quietly. I stood by her side and turned to the surprise grab my hand. I didn't let I didn't let go through. She needed comfort and I had to be there to comfort her. I was about to say something about Reuben, but she stopped snipping and said like Reuben has hero. We always remember him. He is always uh been in our hearts, I said. I agree with her. She turned to the uh, why did she turn to face me? Jessie made a small and sad smile. You okay? I asked her. Yeah, I'm okay, she she said. I feel better now that you came over here to check check on me. I never I never said oh my god. Don't be nervous, Lucas, just tell me how you feel. Okay. Thanks for the checking me, she said. She stops snipping and talked to clearly this time. I just wanted to make sure you're okay, I said nervously. Lucas, is something wrong? She asked me. Uh, I let on the side and said, you said like, you, you, you sure you want me to tell you? I mean, I don't know if now is a good time. Lucas, what is this? You can tell me anything. I trust you, she said. I smiled at her guy that she trustworthy, caring, and kind. Alright, here we go. Hey, let's just... Let's Lucas gonna say that. Alright. <sighs> Jesse, I... After our journey, I... I think you have developed some... Some feeling for you. And... I don't know, but... Is this love? I said. Jesse was silent. She had started to look her face while she stood there. I suddenly felt like that she didn't, she did, she didn't like me. I don't know long, and I just shocked her with my words. I was about to turn around and leave, but Jesse pulled me over to him, I her and kissed me right on the lips. That is so sweet. Yee! Oh my god, I'm just a little bit squeal. I I guess for that. Uh, we both blushed with sweet kiss. But when she wraps her arms around me, I, I wrap her arms around it and kiss her back. When he pulled uh, apart, she said, I was hoping you'd tell me that something. That is so sweet. And that's it. Uh, Mario Sonic Fan 18, good job. You may, you, I'm going to credit for that in the description below. I'm going to credit that. Dad, I'm just slip. Oh my god, stop chatting. Oh my god. Into, um, Alright, let me check that then they have a time yet. To... Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this was the same thing again. Okay, so. Wait, hold on. I need to turn, drink my water for a sec. Ah, oh my god, sorry about that, you heard the time like, that I was drinking, sorry about that, that's so embarrassing, oh my god, oh my goodness, anyway, um, let me change my ears so dirty right away, alright, 
All right, let's try the next one, and I don't know if we have the time yet. So, this one is called another one. It's called Can't Lose You. All right. All right. Oops, not the, this one. All right. Let me try to read it. All right, read it right now. All right. I'm out of my bread right now because I'm reading right now because I missed the series right now. All right. Okay. Jesse couldn't sleep. It's been a crazy adventure. But after all the portal, hoping and all the obstacles they and and encounter. Sorry about that. She, Lucas, Petra, and I were finally returned back home to their world. They went to the Sky City. I remember the episode by Sky City. Met Milo, Isa, and Regidon, and stopped the Brace Vlogs, or it's for Aiden, my, I mean, what? Uh, my, Maya and Gail, okay. Hold on. Alright. Uh, the, when they destroyed the city, and they convinced it to stand up and upset, upset defeat. They saw the- wait, hold on, let me try to remove this one. Alright. They solved the murder mystery, and I, uh, uh, this one in episode 6 from the- what is that called? A uh, portal mystery, alright. They solved the mystery and caught the white pumpkin while meeting Captain Sparkles, Dantidium, Stampy Cat, Stacy Blaze, and- and- Who's that? Uh, uh LD Shadow Lady. And it were episode 7 by Axis and I. They traveled to Mesa or Crown Mesa, destroyed the crazy computer named Palma, and met their new friend Harper. Okay. And this was for episode 8 from Journey In. And finally, to run it off, they challenged the two the old builders who tried to keep the chat to some rigged games. And they succeed when they convinced the other computers to take a stand and go against Hadrian and Mabia. After all, the crazy days they faced, they were finally home, and there be huge relief to be home. Reunited with Axel and Libya, and finally take time to rest. Ah, uh, after the episode 8, after that, I wonder why, why, what's going on after the episode 8 for Adventure and the, after the journey end. Alright, so it was late that night, but Jessie couldn't sleep. She was exhausted, but she couldn't imagine putting it in my head and see they're doing right now. She was exhausted, but she couldn't uh, go to sleep. Her thoughts were haunted her. Thoughts on her benches in Sky City, the White Pumpkin's Mansion, or Cassie Rose. The White Pumpkin's Mansion, the Mesa, the Crown Mesa, and the Arena from the in the Adrian. Um, as much as those adventures were amazing, there were a few moments where she was worried about the safety of her and her friends. She was afraid of losing Petra when Palma chipped her and tried to make her useful. She was afraid of losing Ivor. I remember that when he was eliminated in Hadrian and Hadrian and Mabia's rib games. And I, on top of all, she was afraid of Luke, losing Lucas. There was more moments where she thought that she thought she lost him. He was thought thrown up to Sky City in the first fight with Aiden, but he was landed to the water when they discovered by the there was mine. He was accused Oh I see. Okay, I thought of he would die or something like that. Okay, I get it. Alright. But she found the evidence to prove he's innocent. He was chipped by Palma, but luckily taking the Palma didn't kill him, and he was eliminated. But tried to he, he respond, and he try wasn't kill, truly killed. Oh, I see. And like anime, like respond or something like that. And the thought of losing Lucas was was bothering her right now. There was were moments where where she she was close to losing him, and she was afraid that he would be taken out of her life. She will remember. The first adventure began. The day the okay, the day the winter storm was unleashed. It's um. It's it seems like another day of rivalry against the ocelots at their building competition. By where their adventure and Lucas joined them, as friendship began to form between the two. And after unfolding a hope and journey there, 
were moments that where Jesse feared that she lost Lucas, but she was relieved that he was okay. I see. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay. But there was a there was a reason why she was afraid of losing him. After the quest to defeat the Winter Sword, Jesse realized that her feelings were Luke her feelings for Lucas. Ah, uh, that means she has a crush on him. In episode four, I feel like she has a crush on him. I see though. Oh my God. Canon is a little bit on, but the Undertale to escape can be canon. Maybe soon enough he should be canon for them. Lucas E. Or Jesse and Lucas, my beloved friend. Um, Lucas worried that she saw the, the friend. She liked him. No, she loved him. I... He was smart, kind, funny, and he just always wanted to take her to keep going forward. He never told her uh, even when told. I mean, told not told. Things look like it the thought to tackle. Lucas had faith in her. When they fought the Winter Sword, saved Sky City, boosted the White Pumpkin, challenged and fought Palma, and battled Hadrian and Mavia. And Jesse started to blush when she thought about Lucas. She got out of bed. She couldn't sleep. She decided to walk around the temple. She headed over to the treasure room to look about the new treasure. She looked at the crown of the Eversaurs, the white pocket mask, and the redstone heart. And they also brought back the enchanted blade of steel and the portal atlas. But Ivan decided to borrow of the those. He said he wasn't going to venture, but Jesse knew that the where he's going. He was going to back to the master to visit Harper. Har I I wore the over to crush on Harper and Jessie knew it. She started to grin when the she remembered Arbor trying to muster Master Muster? Master? Oh, I must, I can't understand what monster is. Oh my god. The coverage to give Harper the flower before the part of the place, but he did it. Um and then Jessie, she would hear the boys call out of her whisper. The smiles faded from Jessie's face. She turned around to solve it. And Lucas had, uh, Lucas had come into the treasure room. Lucas, she said, "Hey, it's sleep. Why are you at the? Ah, uh, that's my friend Roxy. Did that. All right. Hey, it's sleep. Why are you sleep? He asked her he, as he walked her up to walk up to her. Well, I'm I'm. Uh, wait, hold up. Sorry. Oh my god, my, my throat, oh my god. Well, I'm exhausted, but I just couldn't sleep. Jesse said a little bit quiet. <laughs> Me either. I have all, all these thoughts buzzing in my head. And it's bothering me, keeping from me sleeping, said Lucas. Everything okay? I asked Jesse. Lucas was quiet for a moment. He finally took the deep breath. And and said, well, I was thinking about our 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 portal hopping adventures, and it brought back some thoughts I wish I didn't have. I think Jess, I mean Jesse, Lucas has been ta talking about their thoughts about the their adventures going on. That so make me hard work. Let me just let's find out for this one. Um, Jesse stared at him with concern look. What do you mean? She asked him. Oh my gosh. When Lucas said it said like, let me just go remove the growl because it's so itchy in my head right now. Like, all right. So, um, well, there were times where I was afraid that I would lose you or never see you again. I think he has to confess with her. Nice! Oh my god. Okay, so... Jesse couldn't help but blush when he said that. Well, he's really having the similar thoughts that haunted him. Um, it's... It's begun with Sky City when Aiden threw me off. I was afraid that it was over. We never see each other again, but when we landed to the lake, I was so happy to see you. 
<laughs> oh my god, that is so sweet. I think he he's on his mind right now. And now that they're, they're, they're out of their their mind right now. Um But I keep blaming myself when you and Isa went back up. I felt that like I have to done something different. We wouldn't have to have to face the kind of moment, he said. Jessie couldn't think of any way to respond. She decided to Lucas to keep on talking. And then when we went to the White Pumpkin's mansion after we find out that the, there was a murder on the loose, I wanted to wait, make sure that I was about you. I was I was by your side. That is so sweet. So that's what he wanted to. Like episode six, he was like trying to protect her, protect her, but he wanted to by their side. But they were detective to each other. Oh my god, that is so nice. Oh my god, wait, hold on. All right. I knew that the white pumpkin was a match for you. But I was a, I was a skill a skills of the being um being the murderer. My only concern was that you be okay without me by your side. I knew you could solve it, but your safety was my concern. He said, "Aww, that makes me heartwarming now." Jesse began to blush. After that, when Palma cheated me and tried to make me kill you. Just like episode 7 accident denied. I I couldn't forgive myself for all that I almost did. I let Palma control me I, and let him make me attack you. When I was fighting to keep control, I was doing it by, my, by myself. I was doing I was doing it for you. I didn't want to go crazy and hurt you. I never I could never forgive myself if that happened, said Lucas. Uh, Jessie remarked silently. She was still blushing, and she could feel her heart beating a little bit faster inside. That's what I did. Oh my God! Shit happening. Look at this happening. This one. Look at this. Look at this happened. Uh, and finally, when we thought we had to fight Adrian and Mavia, I knew that you respond if you die, and I am faking you. When you came to the games by those two jerks, they were so angry. I was afraid that there was something to do worse to you than send you to the mines. I was afraid that they would hurt you, said Lucas. Oh wow, Lucas. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are uh, you making me so heartwarming that you said that you heard about those adventures right now the since then right away? Oh my god. Mario Sonic Fan 80, you did a great job. You make me so heartwarming. Oh my god. Um, and then she was like, Lucas, I, I didn't know, I didn't know you felt this the way everything we went through. Oops, oh my god, my phone actually, the balance, I guess, on the. Jesse said almost a whisper. She wasn't starting to form tears in her eyes. Lucas, I, 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 or sad. Wait, hold on, hold on a sec. Okay. Sadly, when he saw that she was started to cry, he felt that a uh, urgil to tear up as as well. To be honest, I was having I have been thought similar to yours. Just be before you came out here, I couldn't stop thinking about all those moments when I thought I lost you. Sky City, the mansion, the palm score, or how much stone heart. And the split area. When I thought lost you, I lost you. I couldn't think of anything except the fact that I thought you were gone. Take it from me forever, said Jesse. Jesse said, uh, said, uh, said, Jesse walked up to him and he said, hands, causing the both of them to blush. She wasn't beginning to cry now, and that wasn't making Lucas tear up. Lucas, I have to be honest. Oh, she said that. Oh my gosh! And I was like, in my mind, and I was like, oh, what, what, what? Oh my god! My head has been blown up because of their compression about their avengers here right now. Wait. Let me just continue with that. Then. Lucas, I've been. I have to be honest. When we got on a journey to fight those Witherstorm, I knew that we were friends. 
I will remind you of something to long longer it sits. But as we went through the portal journey, I realized that I don't care about you. I'm such a friend. I I like you, Lucas. In fact, I love you. Ah, that is so sweet. Oh my gosh, it makes me so heartwarming. And then I almost in the whisper. Lucas was starting to cry, but he was smiling. Oh, that is so sweet, though. Um, and he was like, Jesse, I I have a feeling the same way towards you. I I always thought you were nice, but even though before the winter storm, I. I wanted to get to know you better. That's why I stayed the good sports. Whenever we, we were at building a position, I was a bit nervous to join you. Consider the rivalry would be between our groups. But I was happy you told me to stay with the group. I have a chance for the part of your team. But as as the time passed by, I realized that I, I didn't like you as a friend. I. I have a I have a crush on you, Jesse. Ah, oh my God. Um, Jesse started to smile back. Lucas, I, I'm flattered. Oh my God, she whispered. I didn't want to say anything, and he said like, I didn't want to say anything before because I knew you wanted to focus on getting us back home. We needed faith that we find uh, find a way back home, but now we're home, and now I want to tell you how I felt. I guess I finally told you. He said with a chuckle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so heartwarming. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, Jesse did a chuckle, but she's still smiling at him. She noticed that Lucas was crying like her. So she helped with him wipe away the tears. That is so sweet. Stop sweetness right now. That's enough. That's enough. You're making me hard while me taking damage my heart and have a heart attack. Oh my god. Stop it, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I can't lose you, Lucas. You're my everything. She whispered to him. I can't lose you either, Jesse. I need you by my side. Oh my god. The, the compressions together. They so the love each other right now. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh my gosh. I loved it. I loved it so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I think at 11 o'clock I need to stop this. Um, uh, the fight of the as well. Uh, they gaze into the, each other's eyes before leaning forward and sharing a kiss. Oh. It felt like forever to them. But they, where they finally broke apart, they walked back upstairs to the Jesse's room. Stay with me tonight, please, said Jesse. Of course, she, Lucas Whippers whispered to her smiling. They headed to Jesse's room after they shut the door and climbed into the bed. Uh, cl Lucas wrapped one of his arms around Jesse and hugged her. Jesse did the same and the two of them quickly dripped off into the flimsy slumber. And then happily ever after. Aww. <laughs> oh my god, that is so sweet. Let me try to see the comments when this, um, this one, let me, um, I see the kiss of the game, like that, da, 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 da. let's, like, just say like that. Oh my god. That is so sweet. Oh my god. Next one. Okay, next one. Okay, this one is called Nightmare. Okay, it reminds me of the uh, Lily, uh, my friend Lily, na, na, made it a nightmare, it just me made it. So this one is different now. It's called Mario Sonic Fantasy once again, that he made it uh, this one. Or she, he or she or something like that? Alright. Oh, this one is her nightmare. Lucas, uh, I, Lucas and Jesse nightmare together about Palma. What the actual way? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god. Lucas, fight it. I oh, Jesse, Jesse said that. Lucas, fight it. I need you to help me fight for. I just like the same thing that word of episode 7. Oh my god. You were bravely quite 
Oh wait, hold on. Let me try the robot voice. Oh, wait. <clears throat> oh, wait. You were. I wait. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Your brain is quite impressive, Jesse. I will count on you to when you get made useful. Lucas spoke in Palmer's voice. Jesse. Prima, Jesse, I'm gonna do Jesse one. Jesse pulled up her sword, but even though she was prepared to fight, she couldn't have bring herself to fight Lucas. He, he hurts her friend, and she couldn't have hurt everyone she cared about. Lucas, please, step out of it. I need you, she cried. Lucas could hear her. She was chipped by a palma. She's so strong about this. And then he could hurt her. I mean, no. And he ho in all he could have so it was Thomas' commands, he transmitted to his brain. And that command was grabbed to Lucas and Jesse. Lucas! cried Jesse. Lucas grabbed her and her to the Palmer machine. No! Please don't do this! Jesse cried. She was crying that she pleaded for mercy. Lucas! she cried. It was too too late. The machine activated. Ah, uh, activated? Uh, <laughs> Activated and Jesse got chip. Um. Uh, welcome, Jesse. Yay! Let's let Palmer do that. Oh, let's join the robot boys. Right. Welcome, Jesse. Yay! Just like that. <clears throat> and then Lucas started to chip his friend, and something clipped back to his memories. J Jesse, he said. No! cried Lucas. He sat up with the waking up, oh, and now he's ending on his sniper now. Um, he sat up after wake up from his nightmare. Lucas led up the sides and really be his realized it's just a nightmare. Oh, it was just a nightmare, he said. He rubbed his eyes and he sat up to see what is timeless. It was 2 a.m. and he couldn't bring something to go back to sleep. Lucas got so the stretch he saw him. he was exhausted. He couldn't sleep, he needed sleep, especially since the group he was going on the biggest bed in his bed dishes soon. Lucas quietly, quietly woke up his room and, and headed down to the kitchen. He needed a cup of milk to calm down his nerves. Oh my god. As we walked, he walked down so he would remember the shaky experience that the mess of when the, they had to deal with the crazy computer named Palma. He, Jesse, Petra, and I were when this made. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, a dry cut. Oh, wait. Where the spirit to return home. They found the, uh, they found the the, so the, the shirt, when uh, the crazy computer or Palma, and they had to help Harmer to shut down Palma. Well, Lucas wanted in the group to help them stop Palma. He got he and Petra got chip, and Jesse had the time to unchip only Petra. Lucas was trapped under Palma's control, and he couldn't shake it up the feeling. Uh, he felt like his head on the spire, but he was not frightened in him what Palma he made to do. He remembered that he nearly killed Jesse while he's under under Palma's control. And he would thought that he should say he wasn't his fault. Lucas couldn't forgive himself. Even after that we finally made it home, he still could get the horrifying experience of almost killing killing Jesse after under the killing robot command. <coughs> uh, if he as he walked downstairs, Lucas spot Jesse's room. He stopped walking and stood outside, debating whatever or not to go to see if she's okay. After a long look, he was reaching out the handle of the door, but before he could open it. Lucas remembered the last thing he saw in his sniper, Jamak dragging Jesse to machine a chip in her and and stamping out in it when it's too late to save her. Lucas pulled away from the door. He was afraid that he hurt Jesse again. And he wanted to stay away from her. He wa he started to walk downstairs, but he that but that's when we he heard crying coming from Jeff Jesse's room. Jesse, he said. He turned around and to walk back to her room. He opened the door and saw her cry sitting on the bed. She was crying in bed and covered her face. Jesse, are you okay? He he asked her. He asked her. Um, Jesse looked up to Lucas. Her eyes were a bit of red crying from her cry. When she saw Lucas, 
Just to give him a sad smile, she ran over him and gave him a tie cup. Lucas, I never shoved in more terrifying nightmare before, she whispered. Lucas hugged and returned. When they let go, Jesse woke up over Jesse Jesse overheard the bed. They both sat down. What happened to your nightmare? He asked he asked her with a worried look. It was back to the mess up. Palma chipped you and after I finished it up, you you died because of Palma, she, she Jesse said sadly. Lucas was surprised that Jesse at the nightmare was similar to his says. But with her fear on her own, Lucas patted her on the shoulder. Jesse I know how you feel. I I have not I have I have a nightmare about Palma as well. Mine is different, thought. I I killed you because the Palma made me, he, he said quietly. He started to tear up out as well. Jesse started to cry again and she gave him another hug. Lucas immediately hugged her in, in return. I can't remind myself but that, that it's over and that you're still alive. But sometimes that experience haunts me. I don't want to lose you, Lucas, said Jesse. I forget what Palma made to do as well. I don't think I shake it up the feeling. I don't want to lose you as well, Jesse said. Lucas. They let go of their hug. Jesse and Small smiled to Lucas. I know, but the one matter is that we're still alive, and that Palma has been shut down. The computer can't hurt us anymore, she told him. Lucas managed to smile back at her. At her, you're right. You, we can't let that computer control us that thought you would shut it down, he said almost a whisper. There was a short moment of silence between them until Jesse said, Lucas, can you stay with me tonight? I don't want to have nightmare. I don't, I don't want to have another nightmare. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to say that's the same thing to you, Lucas said about me. Jesse blushing a bit. That's sweet. Jesse blushed in return. They both lie down on Jesse's bed. Lucas turned off the light. Jesse pulled the covers on top of him. Once the lights were turned off, and Lucas crowded Jesse's arms. The both of smiled. They drift back to the sleep, more peaceful, killer computer face dreams. Oh my God! Oh wow! This one is so good. This uh, Mario Sonic Francising fanfic of Jesse and Lucas. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh my god, it's almost time that I'm gonna uh, stop this recording until 11 o'clock. Oh my god, wait, hold on, let me just go back. Alright, so let's try another one. Let me check in here. So let's try this one. Okay, this one is different. Wait, hold on. Before that, I need to drink a water again. I'm out of my bread right now. Wait, hold on. Let me turn the water down. Alright, here we go. Okay, um, okay, here we go. Okay, this one is different now. This one is called the best gift. Alright. The best gift, right? It was the best gift. Alright. Alright, let's see what it is. It's called what? What is it? One Set of Truth Chan by. She made this set of fanfic for this one, with Jesse Lucas, since then. Alright. Jesse said, 27 February, it was my mom's birthday. Just one more day and Lucas' birthday will arrive. I just said Jim Mori told the Scott about her birthday. I want to do the risk of Lucas' birthday for real. I still haven't prepared anything for him. Maya said on the Dust Ocelot's um, group. That's what happens. She was going to do to give Lucas the best present ever. But I don't think that is true. I thought that decided to make matching sweaters for the first time. 
I'm not that a good sewing, but I grabbed the sewing machine to some fabric and needed to needle some thread. And because the sewing, after a few hours, I managed to get the perfect design. Luca's favorite animal, an ocelot. Of course, he has a favorite ocelot, the cat. Ocelots. I had to, I had to also also done done to save myself as well I, I folded the sweaters and placed it in the box wrap it and won't wait it for tomorrow um uh look at it 28 february my birthday is my favorite time of the year i spread out my bread and all the realize everyone else is gone where did finding food where did buy bread is where did doing something horror I got the thoughts on my, on my brain and sighed. I prepared myself for breakfast and waited. Nobody came back. I look into the Jesse, Jesse, um, uh, Jesse, um, room with the finding is sleeping there. I thought she put forgot on my birthday and sighed gloomily. I prepared some scrambled eggs and marched and down and went to wait to find some food. Jesse said, everyone, um, everyone, please, this, look, it's not here. I poke my head and yell Petra, Olivia, and ask that all of the gifts are ready. I did to the open the door to find some un uninvited guests. The Ocelots, Maya, Gil, and Aiden. They also had the gifts ready for Lucas' birthday. It wasn't until that I heard loud footsteps. I look up to see Lucas is not in everyone is hiding. We prepared to break his flicker of the lights and hear that our places. I was still angry about Maya but controlling my rage. My f the footsteps got louder by loud and my heart still pounding. I heard the flicker span in my hiding spot. Lucas said, Surprise! Happy birthday to you, Lucas! I, I, I almost got shot. Nobody, I forgot it's my birthday. I felt tail sweating my manager to control my joy. The boss was open to reveal the vanilla cupcakes. How did the Jesse know I loved those? After we came and we ate the cupcake, after I got the op I got to open some gifts and I started to meet Maya. All that I that I thought of had with the ocelot heads which to do that there was one. Not the fabric tights gross. Aiden <laughs> got me airplane tickets and Gail got me the horror professor that like, draw me as a knight, saving Maya from the beast. <laughs> That's so crazy. I just saw her looking gloom at Jesse and meekly waved to her. She adored me, smiled, and waved back. I felt my heart pounding as she did that. What is she? She pretty? She really pretty? And then, I can't believe it. Jesse said, I can't believe it. I did that. I blushed so deeply while I was about to faint. Oh my god. Lucas said, ship over to us. I felt really nervous. Lucas op opened Axel, pressed it, only to find a hug. Yes, I hug. That's right, I got awesome a piggy back. How adorable. And all oh, maybe a guy in flush of ocelots. My heart got uh, got found in the inside to open the gates. Closed my eyes and waited. I heard a scream. Um, um, and look, I said, I squeaked with the side of us open Jesse present. A matching sweater like a one she wearing. Holy crap! Now nah, was a best skip. I got it anyone yet. I put a sweater and pick up Jesse up. I love it! I twirled Jesse about painfully and then I hug her. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. And Maya look upset. I really, I really loved it when Lucas did that twirl like, like that. And then Jesse hug, I, Lucas hug her. Oh my god. Maya look upset, but I didn't care. Jesse look as, I look, uh, I'm really happy. I suddenly placed my lips against Jesse. I can't believe I did that. Oh, Jesse said, Oh my god, oh my god. Lucas just kissed me? I just wonder he did that. He immediately pulled away and laughed in embarrassing. embarrassment. I love sorry. Sorry, Lucas, um. Lucas uh, looked like he was a blush. I been and placed my Lucas. I definitely blush. I did it my after all. I guess it's the best. Gift. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, it's time for our 10 minutes now. Uh, this one is coming up next. All right, next one, the short one. Oh, wait, short one. Okay, right, here we go. All right, my last one right, because the time runs out. All right. Okay. 
Jessie sat on the porch bed alone in the rain. She shivered and trembled through the coldness, coldness outside. She sighed and placed her head in the forehead. She looked at the drenched cloudy that shook her in the sweat in the display. Only, only when it's the day the brain stops flashing her. Jessie, Jessie, uh, look at the sea umbrella above. Her alone with Lucas, one of the rivals. That time, Lucas was around to being drenched in the wave water. Lucas, are you? Jesse said this was interrupted by Lucas. Hey, I'll be fine. He wasn't fine. He was freezing. Jesse put uh, Lucas under the umbrella shelter to prevent him from the drench with the rainwater. Uh, Lucas uh, looked at Jesse and chuckled. Why did you do that? Look, Jesse, look, come ask. Lucas, come ask. You look cold. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not that unlike you or something. Jesse sacrificed reply. Lucas knew that look. Jesse was so sarcastic. He took the deep breath and peeked at Jesse in his arms. Uh, carrying uh, her back in the treehouse, Jesse was shocked to find that Lucas actually cared for her well-being. Hey, put me down! Jesse scoffed. Jesse didn't respond and continued walking with Jesse in his arms. A few moments later, they finally reached the treehouse, climbing the ladder. After climbing the cli uh, climb, uh, wait, wait, oh my god, my itchy. Uh, climbing up, Lucas left the umbrella open on the ground of the judge dry and carried Jesse off the couch. He plopped down and right to next to her. Why did you do that? Jesse said this was called up as Lucas kissed her. Olivia and Axel and Pedro all opened the Axel room door and grinned, however, to the Axel heavyweight. He accidentally pushed her, Olivia caught him, causing him. Olivia and Pedro fought. Lucas and Jesse pulled it away from each other and three safe droppers from the throne. Hey, it wasn't my idea. Don't blame me. Axel put up and he pushed them to put. What? It was my Olivia idea. Petra put. Uh, Petra then pushed the blame to Olivia. What are you? What are you three better about? Lucas come here to say the ass. The argument stopped as Lucas raised an eyebrow. He aside as walking to the bathroom to wash himself. So that was a that was a that all about. Uh, Olivia asked Jesse what, but she disappeared. Meanwhile, Jesse was hiding in the bathroom next to the one that Lucas. In it was stressed about why Lucas kissed her. She sighed and tried to get the image out of the head. Then, then why did they take a shower? Moments later, Jesse could the Baba and just see Lucas sitting on the couch alone. She was at next standard and wondered if he would he would leave. Probably not. Um what is come next now? Um I hold on. I think we have a more uh Okay, so I think I'm gonna gonna stop this for a little further. I think I'm gonna go tomorrow because um I'm planning preaching series. I'm gonna go to tomorrow, so because there's only five minutes now to um to stop the to the video. So that is it for the fan fiction uh fan fiction from Devil Art for I use it to, to read it. So anyway, uh I'm gonna miss the the, the fan fiction series about the Jesse and Lucas about they love each other for settle down. And also for them, but for I use it to read, not the one, but as always. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button and try my videos and stuff like that. Also, I'll be to the Facebook, follow me to Instagram, what but they talk about anyone else. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys in the next video. I'll, I'll come in uh, no, later on. I mean, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the next um, Gacha Club remake one for Old Lucas in Moments for Gacha Club version for season 2, episode 5. Stay tuned for that video, so, uh, tomorrow when I'm gonna make that, so, and also for fan Richard series as too. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, Queen Angel is here, and out now. Bye! Hey, I just met you.